So, got up this morning, it's Friday. I went through some of my comments that I always do on my channel, and Minion had said, Sean, do you realize that there's been a new update on your RC2 controller? So I thought, no, I didn't know that. And also, it's, it's so you can lock your screen now. Is that a good thing? Probably. But I thought I'll also check my RC Pro 2 controller, and if you can see that. Now, it does seem to be a big file because I've done this about 15 minutes ago and at the moment it's still only 30%. So I thought I'd just take you through quickly the process as always. You don't need your drone, but I will be taking out my Air 3 that I haven't flown for quite a while now. So I'm just charging the batteries up. I've got to charge that up as well before we go out, but no doubt seeing how long it's going to take it's going to be a, a busy morning, I can see it now. So obviously, you don't need a drone on, you just turn on your RC2 controller, and hopefully it's going to go straight into it. What was interesting, on my posh one, which is the RC Pro 2 controller, it said I wasn't connected to the internet, which is interesting because this one automatically hooks onto the internet, whereas well, this one doesn't. It's like the old RC controller. So, Interesting that they haven't done that on that one yet. But anyway, that's going still. I'm just going in now. Now at the moment, it's saying nothing on my screen. So what do you do? <laughs> I'm just going to show you now. So what you do, guys, you go into your profile. You then go down to settings. Press it again. Right, and then you check for firmware update. Now, usually down the bottom here, you get a little red dot, but I ain't got that. So I'm just checking for the update. There it is. It's saying I've got an update. So obviously press that. So this is the update that we got on the RC2 controller. Got to trying to remember these two. So this is the RC2 VO600200, where this one is the slightly different VO1000300. So a little bit of difference. Anyway, obviously you just press the download. So I'm gonna get back to you the way things are going, but for you, it's gonna be in a mo. So my RC2 is still downloading, I'm on 33% but my other controller has already updated itself so what I've done guys I've turned it off so I'm just going to open it up again and obviously it's going to ask me for a, a password okay it's got enough oh security okay screen lock none so, I'm going to have to put in a password. I'm not going to show you what the password is, but I will put one in. It's quite, I mean, I wish it was just a short four-letter one, but obviously they want eight to 20. So, I've written it down, because I don't know about you guys, I'm useless at remembering. So, let's press next. Right, I've got to do it again. Confirm. So now I'm successfully got my screen lock. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come out of that. I'm going to shut down controller. So let's turn it on. So let's turn it on, see what happens. Now, this is the thing where I probably won't be able to show you what's going on on the screen, guys. All right, unlock your all features data. So Got it. So, I'll, so there's there's how you do it. The the passwords there. That's pretty self-explanatory. So just put it in. Unlocked it. So I can use the screen. What I will do in a mo because this one's still going at the moment. So what I've done now, I'm just connecting up my Air Free. Okay. So obviously, what I've got to do now is connect up my Air Free with this controller. So I've got the air free. 
Click on that now. Okay, confirm that. That's a better system, I must say. Right, so we're just searching for the aircraft. Okay, I don't want to drag this video out too long, guys. I tried to connect my Pro 2 to my Air 3. It just wouldn't go. I tried numerous things. I shut the thing down. I went back into it again. Obviously, I have to keep putting in the uh, password. It just wouldn't link up with it. So I give up in the end. So what you're going to see later on, I'll be using my Mavic 4 Pro with my Pro 2. And from the RC2, I'll be using the Air 3. I'll get back to you later on that in the summary. So I'm at my location. I've got my Air 3, got my RC2. I've gone in, put the password in. Let's take off. I'm not going to make this too long, guys. Take off. I just want to check if the control is fine. Okay, let's go over there. Turn it around. I think what I'll do first... We just put a little box around me in the mo. Okay, so just draw a box around me. Active track. Do auto. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick walk up and down here, mo. It's a bit windy. Okay, so that, that's, that's looking good. What we're going to do in the mo, we're going to master shots and then we we'll change over for the uh, Pro 2 controller. I've learnt my lesson, I've got the pylon cables over, I'm going to move the drone over there. Watch my head shawl, turn it around. <laughs> okay, let's bring it up a little bit. Okay. Put a box around me. We got two minutes. Three, two, one. Just get the drone off and going. I'll keep an eye on the drone and the screen, guys. Okay, that's that's looking good. Okay, one more test I forgot to do, and I think it's the most important one, and that's the return to home. So I'm just gonna do the return to home. Return to home. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that. I think that's pretty good. Considering it's windy, right, now. We go on to the other one. Okay, guys, so I've got, 
So it's already set up, I'm ready to take off. So I'm gonna do auto take off. The sensors come on, my vision sensor has come on now. I'll learn my lesson on that, I'll keep that on the screen now. Okay, we're just gonna send the drone up. And we're just gonna send it over that way a little bit. Oh, I'm just gonna turn it around. Okay, drop the gimbal down a little bit. Track. Okay, so we're on, I'm just gonna do the same as I've done before. It's all looking good. I'm not going to bother with the wheel. We go straight into the master shots. Okay, touch the little square there. We'll start that. Three, two, one. Okay, so I've got my back ones on now. I'm keeping an eye on the uh, the vision sensors as well. I'm not gonna gabble. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of music. It's only good. it's only for a couple of minutes. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to send the drone away, I'm going to turn the drone around, I'm going to send it off over that direction. I'm going to do return to home. I love this, it's such a fantastic drone, I love it. Okay. So there you are. I'm going to press return to home. Return to home. Now, Hopefully, it's going to land right on the H. <laughs> For that type price of drone, it should do. But then it is windy. It's just going to drop its... Um Yeah, it's just setting itself up. There it goes. I'm just gonna wanna unfit her with the sensors, but that got that straight on the H. That ain't bad for windy weather as well. So guys, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pack everything away. We're gonna go back to my office and we'll have a quick summary. So the summary. So the new update, the new password. 
that you need to put on your controller now. Now obviously it only seems to be for the RC2 and for the Pro 2. Is it a good idea? I thought the whole idea of this new controller, the uh, Pro 2, and obviously with the Mavic 4 Pro, is that as soon as you open them both up, you've virtually gone live and you know, ready to take off. And that's pretty quick. But now you have to put a password on it. I understand about the password. I think that's a good idea, but it does slow up the process. Now, all I can say, guys, is obviously up to you that when you do this update, you do not need to actually put in the password. But obviously, once you put the password in onto both your controllers, um, well, that's it then, really. And if you go out and you forget to put the pass, you know, you forgot your password, especially me, what I've done now, I've added my password onto my phone because I'm not going to remember the password, unfortunately. So I have to keep looking at my phone. But I would imagine if you forget your passport, you're going to have to reset it. <laughs> that means coming back and going online and redoing it all, which I would imagine is going to be a pain in the ass. But I suppose it's got its reasons. I wish DJI, when they do these updates, they give you just a little idea what it's all about. I don't know. It could be to do with the US thing about maybe it's the binding, because what I did find is when I tried to connect my Air 3 with my Pro 2 controller, it just wouldn't happen. And when I got back, I tried it again, still couldn't connect it, so I gave up on that. I'm quite happy at the moment, maybe when the Mini 5 Pro comes out, hopefully they'll be able to sort that problem by then. But is that a problem? I don't know. And there's another reason why I like making these videos, because I don't know it all. And it'd be great to know if you guys have been having any problems, maybe with the RC2. But from what I can see, it's, it was a long update to take, take a while to load up. But everything's working fine. The drone flew fine. That's the main thing. And the same with this one. The drone flew like it always does. That precision landing on this was spot on. This one, a little bit off, but hey, it was windy out there. So, if you've got any questions, guys, add them below in the video. If you like the video, it'd be nice to give it a like. Um, also, subscribe to the channel because I've obviously got lots of videos still to come. Uh, we're only talking a couple of weeks now before the uh, Mini 5 Pro comes out. Um, we'll see what happens if I get one. We're also looking at later on in the year, the Neo 2. Uh, the Alfata free. It's it's all go, isn't it? Anyway, as always, there's gonna be another video coming very soon. Ah.